The Supreme Court is the Supreme Court. What the Supreme Court says represents the law. We respect it. We go by it. There is no other way. We, 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 we had hoped that uh, it would come our way, but it has gone the other way. It simply means that uh, we have to go back to the High Court and get done with this quickly. We still have hope. We are not in despair. By the grace of God, yes, so victory is assured yes, we at the will, end of the day. It, 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 we will lose a little time. We still have to go back. That's, that's all it means. But I, I'm very consoled by what the Supreme Court said, that um, he ought not to have been treated the way he was treated. His bail ought not to have been revoked. revoked. His home ought not ought to have been invaded. All that is a consolation to us. So, uh, we have hope. Thank you very much. Thank you, well, if in recent times you're listening to the commentaries of most Nigerians, there is now a process of judicial rascality. Because if the Supreme Court condemns all the processes, especially the rendition that brought him back to Nigeria, and you're not asking that he goes back to the court of, uh, I mean, Federal High Court for the trial to start. I feel it's in, a lot of injustice. It's a lot of injustice in all forms of jurisprudence. So uh, all I would say that we just leave it in the hands of God at the end of the day. Uh, how can somebody... It's difficult to make a comment because when you listen to the judgment when it started, it was clear that they accepted the illegality committed by the federal government of Nigeria in all aspects of it. And yet you went on to this, you know, to remove the judgment of the appeal courts because of lack of um, jurisdiction which they learned about the lower court. I don't think that is fairness in any consideration, but they say that they are final because it's the Supreme Court. They are also infallible because it is the final court of the land. So we will go back to the Federal High Court and hopefully we will probably request that a bail is granted at that level. So for me, it's a win-win affair. At least something has seriously started and I hope that uh, the process at the Federal High Court will be, you know, uh, that will be expedited so that uh, these things can, the young man can come and be useful to his society. But the only unfortunate thing is that the insecurity in Nigeria, and especially in the Southeast, will be worsened off because people don't believe what is happening in this country anymore. So if the, court of, the Supreme Court of Nigeria is not even looking at the implications of what is going on, Boko Haram is on, uh, bandits are on, iPod is on, so where is the country that we're all looking forward to? May God bless this country. Thank you very much. For the camera, sir. For those who do not know, sir. Sorry? For those who do not know, your name for the camera, sir. Your name? I'm Chief Dan Olasi. I'm Chief Dan Olasi and uh, an Igbo small statesman. <laughs> the sad December. For us in the opposition, opposition lawmakers and opposition political parties who I speak for, this judgment today is very shocking to us because we missed an opportunity to lay the foundation and path for political resolutions of these issues. And it's so painful that the eminent jurists understood the issues, but in their conclusion decided to arrive at something that is still so worrisome to us. And what is that? The Supreme Court agrees today that the extraordinary rendition of Mazin and the Kano from Kenya is illegal. That is the first victory that was recorded yes, today. Then the Supreme Court also said today that the invasion of his house by the security agencies that led to killings and the man running to safety is also illegal. These are the, the, the foundations. And then the Supreme Court also goes further to say that the revocation of his bail ought not to have happened, thereby saying that he's supposed to be enjoying the freedom, which is the very foundation of this struggle up to Supreme Court. So now what happened? If the Supreme Court agrees that the extraordinary nation from Kenya is illegal, and the Supreme Court agreed today that the invasion of his house is illegal, 
and the Supreme Court agreed today that he ought not to have been declared bail, mm. then why is Mazin Nandekano still mm. in DSS custody mm. today? The Supreme Court should have not only freed him, but lampooned those who committed those atrocities. Yes. And when they talk about some of these conventions that were cited by lawyers of Mazin Nandekano are not national laws, I disagree. You know the extradition treaty that was signed by Art, that was signed by Malami, the Attorney General. Yes. That treaty, that act, condemned extraordinary, extraordinary rendition. rendition. So it's there in the law. Even as elementary law students, we are told systems form, method of forming laws, conventions, inclusive uh, uh, as well. So if you have international conventions that have been codified and ratified, they immediately become law. Like African Charter on Human Rights and so on and so forth will cite. These are laws. So why are you saying that we did not sign national law? National laws were cited. So for whatever reason, like I said, they are remitting back to the federal, uh, 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 federal high court. We strongly believe that the first thing to do is to grant bail to Mazin Nandekan. Let's start, let's go back to the foundation, is to grant him bail. But let me also appeal to the president. I'm not saying he should interfere in judicial matters. But there is need for us to find a middle ground to bring peace to South East. Many things have gone wrong in the East. Is it that Nigerians don't feel for the destruction going on in the Southeast? Businesses are being born to the ground. People are being killed. All sorts of criminal activities is going on. Even security agencies are also being killed. And whenever anybody is killed in the East, they call it an unknown government. Don't we want, you know, timely resolution of these issues? And we said that the first foundation is to grant Mazin Nandekano unconditional bail, and then we'll commence that process of reconciliation and harmonization of these uh, issues. People in the East are human beings. Everybody was expecting that this Christmas was going to be the first beginning of returning peace to the Southeast. Because people were expecting, people were warming up for it. And then a few days to Christmas, the Supreme Court agrees that his arrest was illegal, that the rendition was illegal, illegal. that the invasion of his was, was illegal, illegal, but he should remain in DSS custody. That's why I say it's a sad December. It's very painful. And I'm appealing. The president still have powers under the Constitution. You see, all these things we are going from federal high court to appeal court to Supreme Court still have a political solutions mm. to it under the Constitution. Well. Under the Constitution, the president has powers yes. to issue knowledge. Yes, not that power is constitutional. So I'm, I'm appealing to the president that despite whatever has happened today in Supreme Court, thank God that the Supreme Court have ruled yes. that the, 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 the rendition from Kenya of Nandekanu is illegal. And thank God that the Supreme Court has also ruled today that the invasion of his house in Omaha was also yes, illegal. And the also, the Supreme Court has also agreed that he ought not to have been denied his uh, bail. bail. Despite the final conclusion of not granting him bail today, the President, riding on this uh, extract from the ruling of the Supreme Court today, can as the father of the nation, issue a broadcast, and then issue knowledge, discontinue the, the trial, and grant him uh, unconditional Brilliant. bail, and commence the process for political and, uh, 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 political solutions to the matter. So that at the end of the day, every part of Nigeria can come together on that principle of justice, equity, and uh, fairness. So it's not, nobody, we didn't lose anything today. Yes. But it's also surprising that the final conclusion we were expecting was not made. But it's also victory for us that the Supreme Court agrees that the rendition from Kenya, it was illegal. And that the invasion of his house in Omaha is also illegal, and that he ought not to have been denied his uh, bail. Yeah. So it is victory for all of us who love democracy, justice, and fairness. Despite that, the fact that the Supreme Court has also refused releasing him by allowing the appeal by the federal government. But the president still has a role to play. That's why we're appealing to the president to exercise his constitutional power. Going by the extract from this positive extract from the judgment of the Supreme Court today is to issue knowledge and discontinue the trial and initiate the process for political resolution. Anybody that is telling you that the part to peace is endless incarceration of Mazen and the can is deceiving you. Yes. That person is enjoying the crisis, the killing and destruction in the East. Let's find a way. The president has been a Democrat advocated for justice, equity and fairness, even in Nedeko. Issues of Nedeko are all about issues of constitutional right, well. fairness, equity and justice. This is what we have known the president over the years for. Yes. And we expect him, as somebody who has championed rule of law, as a Democrat, as a leading member of Nedeko, to understand the circumstances we are operating in today and use his presidential power and issue knowledge so that Mazin Nandekano can go home and we can now open the window and opportunity for final political resolution of this matter. That Thank you. Yeah. That's, that's not the point that the court made. The, the, you saw that the court came very heavy on the security agencies where they have in any way, you know, impaired on the rights, the fundamental rights of the defendant. However, our laws have made very clear provision for remedy where there's such infraction on the right of the defendant 
then you can have, the, the, the defendant can go to the civil court and then seek for civil remedies for the violation of his fundamental rights. And that is why, of course, we have the fundamental rights enforcement for which the defendant, the, the, the respondent, which is the defendant in this case, have actually activated. And you are aware that he has gone to the civil court and he has gotten some judgment, which is still subject of appeal, as to whether or not the, his fundamental rights have actually been uh, infracted or infringed upon. Thank you very much. Thank you. My name is D.E. Caswell. D.E. Caswell. D for David. D for David. D.E. Caswell. I am counsel to the appellant, which is the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Okay. Okay. Uh, as you have all observed what happened today at the Supreme Court, if you ask me, I will say this is victory to uh, administration of criminal justice because it shows that uh, once you are an accused person, once you are a defendant, uh, no matter what excuse you want to bring to hide under the law to say that uh, you should not be tried, the Supreme Court has expressly, unequivocally stated clearly that we don't have the legislation that will vitiate the court from trying a defendant that has committed a crime. You must be tried for every offense you have committed. Exactly, sir. But does this not embolden the security How do you react Yes, Madam is right, Honorable Merci. Obi Agocha, representing the good people of Iguano, uh, Umayha South Federal Constituency of Abia State. I am the direct representative to Mazi Nambikano. It's indeed a very sad day today. If you looked at the judgment, the court was uh, showed empathy in the way the rendition was conducted, the torture, the treatment meted out to Mazi Nambikano. It's just a technical matter. Uh, just like the councils from Azana Bikalo has stated, well, I'm sure they are going back to the drawing board, uh, starting again from the High Court all the way to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court is sympathetic uh, to the plight of uh, Mazen Abdekan, and I, I believe there's hope at the end of the tunnel. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much.